So today we've got a little review going on, a bit different to what I normally do. Um, you obviously seen my speed stuff load out, kind of similar to this. So I want to be mixing up the content. It's going to be vlogs with speed stuff, pure speed stuff, normal game days, which I rarely do now because I'm I've lost the enjoyment for them. I, I like the adrenaline of playing competition, even training, the adrenaline of it going, how fast the BBs are flying. And just want to get, I just want to see UK grow, grow, grow even more as you become a better community, more teams popping up, better teams, the best teams losing, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really good. Um, this weekend, well, the day before this video, video, the day before this video goes out is the NSL Challenge Series. We've got three UK teams going over to the Netherlands, which is going to be quite interesting to see how it all plays out. Um, the teams are, they are good. We're going over. So, where does this belt come from? It is Brazilian made. This is Brazil. And still no one in the UK is making a belt or making products, speed stuff products, you know what I mean? It'd be, it would be dope. So the first feature is what you see when you get it out of the box or the bag of shoes. Elastic straps. They uh, stretch quite far, so they should fit basically everyone. I'm not sure if they're creating extenders, so to speak. Maybe, I'm not too sure. They might be on the website already. I, I actually don't know. I've just got his belt and I'm just purely basing the view off the belt. So, this triple M4 pouch comes with it, which is nice. And this is how I like them. It's just triple pouch. I'm not sure if he's going to come in future and bring a quadruple, a quadruple, fucking a quad pouch. I'm not sure. So, I'll just leave that there for a minute. And basically, you can see. This is how it attaches. Very similar to the Speed Stuff one. I'm not about. I'm not sure about any of the belts. But Speed Stuff one, the strap just comes off. You can place it and close this middle as possible. You can overlap them to get it tighter. Depend how small you are or depend how big you are. I'm not too sure. So you just place it down like that, and you're good to go basically. And then the ink is not coming off. The elastic, the elastic, the Velcro using this is really, really strong. So. At the bottom, if you play CQB and you wear a dump pouch, you're laughing because you can just attach one there, And which I know they do sell this. So, and then the triple pouch just goes straight back on and it's not going anywhere. You've got to really pull it to make it come off. So, my favorite feature about this whole belt is probably the triple M4 pouch, just because simply with my MHQ belt, uh, I find it in game, between games, pretty hard to, well, in between games, it'd be after game, just to put the magazines back in there without asking someone to do so when you've got to fill up your tank, they've got to fill up their tanks, they've got to fill up their own mags, then they've got to get the magazine themselves. I find it quite tough, which can be quite irritating sometimes. Um, so, which leads to me end up putting it in my pocket, so to speak, if I really need to get back on that field and get back on that breakout wall. So, they are very simple, just a slot in. But they're not going anywhere, which is the main thing. Um, never use this one. I need to take one of the bands off because having three on there just makes it impossible to get into any pouch, which normally is my starting mag and it ends up on the floor pretty quick. So. Another feature about this belt, which is pretty cool, you don't need to have any more pouches realistically. You can, you can stack these up if you really, really want to, which you don't need to do. You may not like this idea, you may like it, I think that's really sick. But these, this, these straps are basically pouches, which should be used in a different mag because this mag's not going to go in there. But yeah, so I'll just show you. Not going anywhere you can basically strap nine mags to this whole belt three other sides of the on the straps and obviously three on your back and then you can get one in the gun so that's 10 mags that's a well you ain't never going to need that even in the skirm day outdoors you wouldn't even need that realistically but the options there i know people carry about six mags on the field when it's a competition you're burning for them on a rifle you're holding down them lanes which is good kappa if I get through two mags, realistically, maybe not even that, maybe three, depending on how long the game goes on, obviously. So, the tank pouch, how does the tank pouch work? 
is the only downside to it, I suppose. Take these pouch, patches off, keep one of them pouches. Take the patches off. This is not my favourite idea of a tank pouch. I'll just take this tank out. This is what it looks like. This strap probably isn't needed. This holds it pretty well. It's very similar to the MHQ design or just the elastic and there's nothing on the end. The speed soft one, I know it holds it on the end and I'm pretty sure it could be soft maybe. Um, so you can switch this round if you've got OCD. If you haven't got OCD, you just turn it around and be lazy. Um, basically, their tag obviously will match up with the one on the bottom and it will... <laughs> It'll all be normal, all in line. I, can't, I couldn't have it upside down, it would really bug me. So the tank pouch just goes placed on there. Get your tank, small tank. I think it's a 13 CR. You play Kappa, you know. And this just slots in like this. And then you get your strap. Hold on, just put it a bit more. You get your strap. And you get it tight. Boom. Regulator on there, put your line on there and you're laughing. The mags are still easy to put in and they're still easy to take out and they don't come out. The only reason I don't like this design, I prefer the ones where the tank sits at the top, so it's out your way, it's not right there on your back. It's a lot easier to grab your mags, so to speak, which I prefer. I believe Cubisoft make that sort of tank pouch. Nepro do it and the guy behind Greek is creating that tank pouch, so it will have the tank at the top and then it have two mags like this or you can have one like that and then one like that on your back so you can pull the mags easy and your tanks out the way which means it's elevated out your way out your reach which is not annoying i do find this quite annoying is i've played with a tank continuously on my back like this the whole time it's this is a lot stronger compared to mhq the mhq i do find they slam it all the way to one side and it's still just a bit a bit wobbly on your back so yeah, just take this off. It won't come off, put it this way, this tank pouch won't come off. It may look like it will come off, but it won't come off. Uh, I had my friend Keanu, the one who's gonna be selling these belts at keanucustoms.com, available for pre-order. If you speak to him, we can get you different color combinations. And yeah, just go on there. I will leave a link in the description. Yeah, he was yanking me from behind, pulling it. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? This tank pouch to see if it would come off, it would not come off. So, I would I 100% say this is never gonna come off in a game unless you do something crazy. So, yeah, that's tank pouch. It just basically straps around you like this. Boom. For the sake of video, I will, I will leave. Okay. For the sake of the video, I'll leave the strap looking like this. Um, normally, I have this tucked over. But yeah, so. Just get my rifle. It's pretty gorgeous. If you didn't check it out in the loadout video, go have a look at it now. Magazine in. I have no hopping at the minute because my barrel's filthy. So. I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. I come round, this is how I come round. I drop the magazine out and I can carry on shooting. I recommend this Grig belt. Yes. Is it perfect for competition level? Yes. Is it good for skirm days? Yes. Is it good for outdoors? Yes. Is it, you know what I mean? What more could you want out of a belt? I know there's so many similar belts and so many similar setups and most of them are pretty much kind of similar and all come from the same manufacturer maybe, I don't know. Um, I know these are all handmade and they're not made by a third party elsewhere, like Cubisoft, so to speak, or Speedsoft. It is made in house, straps in house, everything is made in house. So, why would I recommend it? It does a job. I can literally have, especially rifle, carry kind of about six mags. I can have one either side, one in the gun, three in the pouch. What more could you want from a belt? It fits everyone. Um, you'll see me wear this in the next video. I'm going to train at Mayhem Paintball to see what the VAPR boys are up to. They're pretty much, I want, 
They've been around for a while now, but we've never seen them in competition. So we're gonna go train there, see what they're about. Try to push them to come to a competition. Uh, we want more teams to form, new teams to build. You want, you want to see lower down teams, underdogs beating all these pro, like, not pro teams, but the best teams in the UK, so to speak. Which would be nice. So as for my team, our next competition will be at SWAT on the 2nd of June. Which be, should be nice and warm, hopefully not raining like it always is. Again, hopefully see some new faces there, old faces. It should be good. So the next UK competition is on the 4th of May at the Bunker, CQB up in Siam. I'm not sure the exact area. Which, it's north. It's, it's cold up north, which unfortunately we're not making it to. Uh, there's, some, there's some complication with getting up there, getting all the team together. One of our team members, he's on a stag do, which you can't really change. So we're pulling away from that. And plus, I really want to build the team better, get, get a few more training sessions in, or reorganize. Since like last year, the finals we played, which the video is on my YouTube channel, we kind of just got a bit sloppy. Some of the training, some of us weren't. And it showed at the last competition, it was just a bit sloppy. And I was unhappy with a lot of things we'd done, a lot unhappy in myself and how I played. I've trained a fair bit this year so far already. I want to train more, get better at the sport. As, that's why you don't want me to see too much CQB from me because I'm not really a big fan of CQB anymore. I find it a bit boring, there's no adrenaline going. But you will see me wear this belt pretty soon. If you do want to buy this, you can buy it from kianicustoms.com. He does sell 3D print stands. And he'll print you anything basically. If you ask for a certain product, what you need, he will develop it and build it for you. And he'll send it out to you. So. He's a UK distributor for these belts. If you speak to him, uh, his Instagram is Keanu Customs as well. I'll leave a few bits in the description. Buy it from these coming at about, as I said, 120, 125 pounds. Around about there. Obviously, if you want all black one, you can get all black one. If you want purple and black, you can do that, which is pretty sick. And you'll see a few different color combinations coming through. Hopefully, you start do coming to the UK more and more. Because no one really had, no one's had them. I'm probably the first person in the UK to have this belt. I'm not sure about a view on YouTube, but yeah, I like this belt. Simple, two straps on. Thanks for watching.